Hey there, Leo. Welcome to your reading for mid-August 2021. Uh, we're going to jump right in here, Leo, and we are going to see what is going on for you. Uh, I'm using this uh, Know Thyself uh, Oracle, just so you know. So that is what this deck represents. But uh, let's see what is going on for you. I feel like you're making a definitive decision here. Um, in, in your first row. It's like you're making a solid uh, choice here. Damn, Leo, this is a nice reading is what I'm going to say to you here. I wasn't so sure based off that first row, but, uh, you know, it doesn't look bad. It just, you know, it's not that great. And this, the rest of this is freaking amazing. You have the Ten of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune, Nine of Pentacles, really nice. You have this uh, uh, firmness card here um, in this uh, Know Thyself deck. It says fortitude on it, strength, basically. So that could be your card here with this energy. I feel that, um, you know, as always, this could represent needing to try new things, basically, because it's kind of like, you know, a card of, I don't know, there's there's this donkey on it, could represent being stubborn and not looking at other ways of doing things. It even says obstinance on this deck right here. Oh, is it gonna, it's not going to focus, is it? But anyway, at the top there, upside down, it says obstinate, so, or something like that. So, like I said, a little bit of stubborn energy. You have the Ten of Swords, the Four of ha uh, Four of Wands, and the Emperor here. I feel that you, uh, this, again, I get very decisive action here, uh, Leo, and I feel this is a good thing as well. I kind of feel it's like very decisive, more gut instinct type of energy here, and it's like you're making a decision. Uh, I feel that it's involving kind of freedom. The Four of Wands is a card of freedom, even though it's a card of marriage. Uh, the people on this card have already been married. They've already gone through the marriage process, and really, it's a card of celebration. It can also represent 11-11. We have these two, uh, the Four of Wands there, two and two. It kind of looks like a pause symbol, number one. So I always think that, to me, sometimes the Four of Wands can be like this pause before there is a lot of success. Boom, this middle row, damn. Uh, that is a, a very nice row. Uh, but, you know, these people are calling to you. They're like saying... Why aren't you celebrating? Why aren't you over here? And we have stubbornness, just like this card right here, the um, emperor here. So I would release this kind of like stubborn energy. I do get like some sort of release type of energy here uh, for you, Leo. Did I say Aries? I probably did, but Leo. Um, I'm getting this feeling like, um, you know, it reminds me of years ago. I went, I, I had uh, Lyme disease and I went to see this lady who was, who did like body work uh, type of stuff to release, um, you know, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> I actually have no clue what it was. But anyway, I remember I was laying there and she was uh, digging in right here. If you push right here, it hurts like hell, right? Right here on your collarbone. And uh, she was pushing there trying to get some, like, you know, trying to get this release and then, and it hurt. And then when it finally released, it felt amazing, right? Uh, and it was like, kind of like an energetic release or something. I get, that's popping into my head for you here with this um, Leo card, I mean with the uh, Emperor, the Aries card, it's like there's something that needs to be released. And maybe when it will hurt, Ten of Swords here, right? And, um, you know, he has this red cloak on, just like this guy right here. So I feel what needs to be released is kind of like anywhere where you are being stubborn. Because, you know, I feel like you could be holding yourself back from something that could make you very happy. For others, this could be a person, you know, take it how it resonates. It could be a person in your life who is like this, and, you know, they could be holding themselves back. And this would just be saying, don't hold yourself back because of someone else. Uh, next, you have the peacock spirit. It says, let it shine. I feel like you need to let something out here with this uh, peacock spirit, obviously. For some of you, I feel like you need to kind of like speak up and not be afraid to share your opinions here, you know, with people in your life or whatever. Because, again, it's kind of like shining from its uh, throat chakra here on this card, Leo. So don't be afraid to speak up. You have the Ten of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Wheel of Fortune. Major change in your fortunes. I kind of like this because, to me, this is direct results. You know, especially the Ten of Pentacles with the Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles is like working on something, and it can represent material success on the horizon. But with the Ten of Pentacles here, this, to me, just ta says that the work that you're doing, you are going to see results very quickly, meaning if you work on something, you're going to get a result. 
And I feel like this is going to change your life with the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is a change in your destiny and definitely like a lot more happiness and good things coming in for you here. But I feel like you're seeing more kind of like direct results with this energy. So I definitely like to see that. I also feel that there could be an increase in your finances in this row, but for the most part, I just feel like this is kind of like direct results. I do feel like some of you could be discovering something about yourself with this row, where it's like you are discovering a hidden talent, gift, skill, or ability that could make you more money here, but it's something that makes you shy or something is popping into my head. <laughs> some of you, it's like this stubborn energy could be that it's like there's something inside of you that maybe you're shy about, but it's actually like the thing that is going to make you very successful here. I'm trying to think of like a good, because I, I really get this like let loose type of energy here, Leo, is the best way I could describe it. It's like, I don't know if you've ever been to like a dance, you know, with uh, like in high school or something like that. It's like there'd always be those kids standing against the wall doing nothing. But it's like really if they just let loose and didn't care. Uh, they would have a lot of fun at the dance, right? And that's kind of like the best way I can describe what I'm getting here, where it's like you could be preventing yourself from having fun or you could be preventing yourself from like doing the thing, something that you might really enjoy, but it's like once you let loose and do it, I feel like you're gonna have a lot of fun and you're really gonna be happy that you just did it, right? And that's what I feel like is going on here for you, Leo. I feel like you just need to just do it. I feel like you need to like get moving on something that will make you very happy. You know, Ten of Pentacles is definitely a card of happiness, uh, excitement, good things coming in for you. Uh, in your last row here, you have the Stillness card. You know, can represent stillness or calmness or needing to take some time for yourself, which I do feel like would be beneficial uh, with this card. I do feel like it would be beneficial for you to, you know, take some time for yourself, take some quiet time and all of that. But um, you have the Nine of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, and the King of Cups here. The Nine of Pentacles is like pre-empress energy. So it's like you're about to have your glow up, like I said, <laughs> basically. Like I was saying, it's like if you could just let loose uh, of your energy, then I feel you will be glowing up. Six of Pentacles, major, you know, this is like energy of give and take. He is giving, six, the he is deciding, the guy in the middle, where he puts his energy. He's giving Pentacles to one person, not the other. Six of Pentacles to me can also represent where you plant your seeds. Um, or it, to me, it really represents planting seeds in general. But I am getting like where you plant your seeds. Those are the words that are popping into my head. I would be very careful like who you're giving your energy to, where you're putting your energy. It's going to be very important for you this week. I would also say that your emotions are going to definitely be controlling your own reality at this time. King of Cups, he's like sitting in these choppy waters here, Leo. But it's like if he, you know, he's kind of happy. He looks, he doesn't look too upset on this card. Here, he just looks like, I don't know, he looks like nothing. <laughs> he looks like he's not affected by the choppy waters. I do kind of feel like this is saying that if you can control your emotions this week and keep it positive, you're going to have a really good week. You know, things are going to go very well for you. Even the Wheel of Fortune has this snake on the side of the wheel there. And that snake kind of represents your vibrations and the vibes you give off to the world. It says keep it positive so that positive things can happen for you. And, you know, and good things will happen for you if you do that. And that's really what I'm getting here. A pretty simple reading. I do feel like there is love coming in for, some of you might already have love. I feel like I've said that a hundred times already. Uh, and 10 of Pentacles is the best love card in the deck. Uh, for some of you, it could be a water sign, could be any sign. This is just a general reading. And between the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles, you have the Ten of Diamonds. This is called the book. It's funny because uh, when I used to read Lenormand, and playing cards all the time, you would always get the Ten of Diamonds. It's a card of like hidden or secret information. It's a card of learning and kind of like needing to learn how to make something happen or needing to learn how to, you know, accomplish things in your life. And that's what I feel like is going on here, Leo. It's like you're needing to learn how to make things happen. And it's and the Ten of uh, Pentacles can also represent hidden or secret information. The Ten of Pentacles has this old man here. It can represent like the patriarch of the family, can represent building or leaving a legacy, can represent inheritance. He can also represent a beggar. He can represent someone who has nothing to give uh, coming and bringing this uh, a gift to the family. So for some of you, it's kind of like saying there is probably information that exists that could make you very successful in work or business, but you're going to have to like go out and find it. Uh, between the four wands and the eight of pentacles, you have the seven of diamonds. This is called the birds. 
I would pay attention to any messages you receive. Again, if someone is saying, like, you know, uh, again, I feel people celebrating on that four wands. I didn't really talk about that. Like, I feel like celebration on that four wands, it's almost like you're being called to something that's much better than you expected, or you're being called to something here. I would move towards that. Um, you know, it's like if you're, maybe you have a job, but maybe someone is like, hey, I have a better job for you. It probably is better. <laughs> that's like the feeling I get here. It's probably something that's going to work out much better for you. Uh, same thing in like business could be an opportunity where it's like maybe you're seeing people um, celebrating. So I feel like this here is asking like how much more evidence do you need that something is going to be you know a success. And again, I, I really can't answer this question for you. Uh, you're going to have to do it on your own. But I feel like some of you, it's like you could be seeing uh, maybe your buddy has a business that they opened up or something, and maybe they just keep growing and growing and growing. But maybe you're afraid to work for them in the first place because it's like, you know, maybe they wouldn't have grown, right? But it's like, I feel like you're at this point where it's like, how much more evidence do you need? Uh, could, this could be love as well. It's like you could be with a really great person and it's like, how much more evidence do you need that this is the right person for you, right? And I kind of get that feeling for you here, Leo. Uh, have I been saying Aries? I apologize. Uh, you have the eight of spades here between the emperor and the wheel of fortune. So this is called the garden. It's a card of coming to the, it's like a card of uh, getting to a place of sanctuary, getting to a place where you are protected and safe. It's considered to be a very good card. So I do feel like you're kind of getting to this place of protection. It's also a card of a harvest as well. And we see a major harvest here. Um, Ten of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. It's like if you're trying to make money, this is a, definitely an amazing reading. Uh, between the Ten of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles, you have this Maze card here. This is not a real Lenormand card. Uh, there are like extra cards in this Lenormand deck, basically. Uh, and this really isn't an, a Lenormand card or a traditional one, but uh, it is a card of kind of like feeling lost. I do feel like it's taking you a long time to like get your bag, Leo. <laughs> and I feel like you're maybe like fearing losing it. Or if you haven't, you know, kind of been making a bunch of money, I feel maybe you've been kind of like working towards that. And, but it feels like a little bit like you're lost. But, um, you know, what I would say here is keep, you know, keep trying. Don't give up. I feel like that's like talking about experimentation for you. Uh, between the Eight of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles, you have the tree. This represents a tree of life. Uh, pretty crazy. Everybody's had this card. And it's like a card of uh, building a family or, you know, kind of having a family if you're looking for love. And it's also a card of just like having everything you desire to have in your life. So I do feel like there's a lot of success coming in for you, Leo. Uh, between the Wheel of Fortune and the King of Cups here, you have the Jack of Spades. Again, everybody has had this card as well, <laughs> which is pretty crazy. Jack of Spades is called the Scythe, and it just, I feel for you, it's just saying, remove things that no longer serve you from your life. If anything is causing challenges or upsets or difficulties, uh, if anything is kind of holding you back, I would cut those things out. Uh, your top row outcome, you have the Ace of Diamonds. Love it, the Sun. Uh, this is a card of happiness and success, major success coming in for you here, Leo. So I feel like there is a lot of success coming in for you uh, with that Ace of Diamonds. And I feel like it's something that you've been hoping for. A lot of happiness, a major kind of like celebration energy here for you, Leo. Uh, in your middle row here, you have this mask card. I do feel like I would be careful of anything that does seem too good to be true. But again, I would be looking, you know, I feel like this card is almost saying, again, look at the evidence. If you're having a hard time making a decision about something that you're wanting to do or thinking about doing, I, again, I can't get away from the fact that over here, I was getting that word, like those words, you know, the evidence is clear. And so it's like, you know, I feel like you almost have all the answers you need or everything is like laid out in front of you. And it's just saying, you know, trust the evidence. Don't like try to make these, you know, value judgments and things like that. Uh, bottom row outcome, you do have the fox here. Again, a tri two tricky cards here. Uh, there has been like a tricky energy in the readings lately. So I would be careful of anything that seems too good to be true, anyone who seems too good to be true, you know, any people, any situations that seem too good to be true. I would be careful of all that. You know, I would just, um, you know, trust the evidence. It is kind of a good card, especially with the sun, because it can represent getting a lot of attention for, you know, things that you have done. So if you've been doing a lot of work or if you've been working on any projects or anything like that, it can also, you know, it can actually represent a lot of success in projects that you've been doing or, you know, anything that you've been working on. So it's a very good card. And, you know, it can be a good card. But I like this. I feel like there's a celebration and happiness coming in for you. 
So love it. So thank you for being here, Leo. Really appreciate it. Uh, make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. Also, feel free to like and subscribe. Really appreciate the support, Leo. But thank you, and definitely enjoy your week.